Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Raven's Watch run and today I'm gonna be doing a run with the Snow Queen and showing you how you beat the game consistently. First of all we're playing difficulty 9 so whatever I'm gonna apply here is gonna obviously work and because I'm playing alone the game is also harder because normally when you play co-op you can revive each other and you don't use revives and whatnot. So um, yeah I'm gonna show you how to beat the game in solo even. First of all what choice? Let's go with this. Attacks and two lances that deal uh, the same damage, but have less range. So we do double damage with our attacks now. So, what do you want to be doing in this game? You want to be running around searching for events. That is it. That's the trick. Let me show you how this looks like. So first of all, we're going to run away. You never, ever, ever want to attack trash mobs. You want to just run around to find events. This looks like an event, and it is an event. More specifically, it's a chest event. Chest events are the best events to start out with because they provide you with free uh, damage, free stats. And not only is that a thing you should keep in mind, that chest events are extremely good, but you should also remember that um, you should go back to the shop if you find something good in a chest. What is this? Special deal terms and damage. Special is my shatter. Part deals more damage, that's my slam. Uh, no, we're gonna go with this special. So my shatter, the best ability in my opinion from this character, uh, does 20% more damage. That's actually really good. So that means we will uh, need to go back to the shop if I, when I find 75 coins. Now here, for example, there is a max life event. You want to take it, right? You want to always do events. You don't want to fight trash mobs. Right now I am fighting trash mobs specifically to be able to get this event. But if there wasn't an event here, I would have already left. You don't want to fight these guys. Let's get this done and off we go. Don't care about this. Don't care about that. Don't care about anything that is not an event. Uh, or, you know, um, uh, yeah, I I'm calling these all events, okay? Whatever is on the map is an event in my mind. Uh, you also want to maybe, you know, branch out once in a while like this to maybe look up a teleporter or as you just saw here, you maybe will find money. That is why you want to branch out. But it's very easy to understand when, about when you're supposed to branch out, right? Like, for example, I, I'm right now here uh, and I'm finding money. Uh, here on the left, I haven't seen it. So I'm going to go over here to see. This looks like an event and it actually is. The map just appeared. It's an elite event. Now this event specifically, the elite event, needs you for you to have a key. I don't have a key, so it's useless for us. But this down here, that's a max life event and we can actually get it, so we should fight. And that's how you also level up. You just take fights whenever there is an event that you can get. Boom, shatter them all, very nice. Dust them, slam them. As you see, we start building up levels. Uh, that's why you should never ever try to level up because you're level up anyway when the time comes when the time is right You will fight opponents that will uh, let's push these guys back you when the time is right you will find opponents that will Provide you with the XP you need to level up. You don't need to specifically um, Fight for that. Let's go through everything and boom and Get rid of the healer. Thank you very much. Always get rid of the healer first let's Smoke these guys. Let's slam these guys and now that everybody is frozen, let's actually make sure they're frozen. Boom! Stun him. Nice. That guy's dead. Uh, by the way, you do 40% more damage against frozen enemies. So when opponents are frozen, you just destroy them very easily. Boom! Let's go through him. These guys are frozen. Get stunned. You get stunned. You get stunned. Nobody's getting attacked. Uh, it doesn't matter if I lose life right now because the max health event gives you also healing. Okay, some something is stuck. Some enemy somewhere is still chasing us. It's most likely this stupid thing. It's most likely this stupid thing. So I'm gonna get, just get rid of it. Okay, that guy's dead. Now, theoretically, we should be able to have access to this. Nice. And now we get max life. And we continue. What is the passive we got? Trait uh, takes hero or power uh, makes rain. Power makes rain is obviously the best one you can get. And we continue. This event here is vision effect. Event that's good for actually going fast around the map. I'm gonna use it for another mechanic. You can use this later if you want, because finding events is not really that hard. Early game. Because you the only thing you have to do, like the trick of finding events, is you want to search for either of these big areas. For example, this is a book event. I'm not gonna go to this right now because this is the red book event and it's gonna be very hard. You want to leave that for later in the game. Um, or you want to find green book events or in general chest events. Chest events are the easiest one. As you see, I am skating, but that does not mean I'm fighting. You don't want to be fighting for no reason. There is no reason to fight. If I find like a health event somewhere around here, then I will start the fight. But otherwise, you just want to skip everything. Uh, this event here, the I guess the, the, the pool event or whatever, gives you an item for 100 coins. Do you see these steps? Forget the pool event. These steps indicate an event is closed. This here is the tumor event. Once again, I believe it's useless. It just makes the final boss have 20% less life. It really doesn't really matter at the grand scheme of things. 
Uh, also, just finding these events is good because that is going to make the vision event not show you these ones. So just going around and marking them on the map is already good enough and helpful. So we're going to zigzag through and imagine this with them. This is an event again, this is an elite event. Uh, when you see uh, in general structures or whatnot, it's always an event. Let's mark that on the map. And here, for example, you see stairs. You see these? You see steps and stairs. That means there is an event close by. This is a chest event. These are the best ones. These are the ones you want to chase down early game. And the reason before that is because obviously... Um, because uh, it's it's not a timed event, it's nothing. It's literally, oh, th there is a chest here. If I kill all the opponents around it, uh, we get the chest for free. This is literally what this event is. And that's why you want to always uh, do that. Because uh, it's, um, yeah, because it's always just, you know, you have your own free time, in your free time, whenever you want to, you know, in your own time, just go ahead and kill all the opponents slowly or fast or whatever you want, right? That's the idea here. Let's pop this and slam again. Blizzard. I hate the spiders, by the way. They are the most powerful enemies. They also spawn a bunch of enemies. And those enemies, they spawn these spider rights. Um, they also count as enemies, so you have to find them and clear them. Anyway, we got the chest. Let's see what we find out of this chest. Reduce power cooldown by 20%. That's uh, Power is the right click. Defense, gain plus one, or vitality plus one, uh, five for magical. So let's go with cooldown on the right click. And this is also really good. Uh, I have 141 coins, so the next time I find a teleporter that I can actually take, here for example, you should go back to the shop. As long as I still have good passives, it is a good idea. I enjoy both of my passives, and I'm gonna show you the little trick you you're supposed to do. You go to the shop and always buy the thing that says you get 50... Oh, I don't... This, this shop doesn't have it. Well, if it doesn't have it, then it doesn't have it. I'm gonna buy this, um, and I'm gonna also buy, I would say, damage, to be honest. And let's continue. The reason why I upgraded my spell is because when I go to the book event, it's gonna give us four free upgrades uh, randomly. And you definitely want to already have gotten your commons up to epic, up to rare, or even epic if possible, because you don't want to, uh, you know, this the easiest version, the easiest, the simplest solution, no, the simplest explanation for why is because you prefer paying 50 and 100 coins for an upgrade and then the free upgrade to be the 200 cost upgrade, right? Because from epic to legendary costs 200, while from rare to epic costs a hundred and um, that rare to epic is the same power level increase as the epic to legendary so you only pay more because of the tag of the legendary tag it's not like you actually gain more stats out of it anyway you see this you see this whenever you see a ramp or anything that either goes elevation up or elevation down it's an event go in that always go up or down elevation whenever you can do so and this is a chest event and as i previously mentioned chest events are of the best ones so you definitely want to uh, get that going. Uh, let's dust them. And now let's explode them. Very nice. And let's go through. And let's slam down the rain. And let's destroy these guys. Nice. We got a lot of kills. Let's dust them again. Avoid and explode them. Boom. Let's uh, skedaddle. I do enjoy skedaddling. Let's also put the rain over there. And while these guys are thinking about boom. Explode them. This guy's toast. This guy's also toast. And we won, we cleared everything out, and we even got a level out of this. And as you see, I don't need to care about trash mobs throughout this map. I am getting levels anyway. Damage to bosses, armor at low life, or dash does damage. Uh, I'm gonna say dash does damage. This, uh, this might help us at the end. Uh, let's also see what I can get. Hopefully, trade defense deals damage over its duration. I'm gonna take this. So it's this thing here, now also does damage, so that's pretty much more damage on our build. I would like to get a thing that says my right click uh, shatters, that's one of the best things I think exist. But if we don't get it, then so be it. And once again, we continue going zigzag, finding events. So let's skedaddle through. Another, uh, these, by the way, the teleporters, sometimes mean something, sometimes they don't. You can possibly know. This looks like an event to me. And, I mean, there. do you see these steps? If you see something that looks like steps, it's an event, guaranteed. And it's a money event. The ones you should always uh, skip. So you take the money and you skip. You never, you don't find anything else. You, you just take the money and go. Never, never, ever, ever try to fight for the money area. There is no reason other than XP, as I said. But XP doesn't really matter at the grand scheme of things. Because level 5, uh, level 4 does matter as it gives you passive. But level 5 just gives you your ultimate. Your ultimate is good. Don't get me wrong, but it's also not the end-all be-all. Do you see these steps? This is an event. You see more steps. You go up. You always chase down wherever the event brings you to. And this is either a vision event or a money event. It's a money event. What do we say for money events? We skip. Now here specifically, specifically in this area and specifically with my character I have, I will fight this because I do know for a fact that these enemies are extremely easy for the Snow Queen. 
Uh, but otherwise, I would have guaranteed skipped. If I was any other character, I would not fight this. There is no reason to. Other than, you know, just saying, oh, you know what? There is XP here. You should never ever fight for XP. As I said, let's skedaddle through and let's explode him again. Specifically because I am the Snow Queen and I'm good against these opponents in this specific map. This is more of, you know, uh, experience. You should play the game enough to know what character is good in what zone and what corner. Uh, that's also the reason why I played the Snow Queen, in my opinion. She's one of the easier ones to play as a solo. There should be an event over here. As you see, there is enough room for some kind of structure. It is. This here is, this Dark Darkness is a humor event, always. Uh, this, once again, 20% less life on the final boss. I don't care about it. I'm gonna go ahead and find chests and books and everything else other than the two mores and also other than the these two this event here is also trash as i said i mean it's not trash but um it needs you to have so much money that you have bought everything from the shop and then some so uh there's that i guess uh, that was a mistake on my end but it's okay let's slam her for a rain let's also do like the wind attack both of these are stunned and as you see, we have started being extremely powerful, extremely fast. Now, normally I wouldn't open this up this early, but it's okay. We got a book next to us and then also a heal. Uh, as I said, never activate the book unless you have bought the previous trash upgrades. This is an easy book, by the way. Uh, this is a green book, so I will easily get this done. But it's really important to uh, get my upgrades done before I do that. You're not going to heal each other and you're also going to die. Bye-bye. Let's take this. Very nice. And let's slammer this twice. And now, how much money do we have? We have 396. So the first thing we're going to do, go back to the shop, <clears throat> power up the 50 coin upgrade we have. And uh, then we're going to say, you know, this, this book over here is going to give us four upgrades and that one's going to give us two upgrades. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six upgrades right now un unleveled and uh, theoretically we should be able to level them all up through the books. Uh, if anything, I would say maybe level one of them up again. So let's say I'm going to level up the this here. I'm going to level up the Frost. And there is a reason for that. And the reason is that I'm going to get another upgrade in the moment, right? I'm going to level up in a moment. So might as well start investing into these things. And let's see how this is going to go. So open up the chest. Boom, here we go. I should have gotten stats, by the way. That was definitely a mistake on my end. Should have definitely bought stats alongside everything else. And we're just going to skedaddle around. In general, my character is pretty good at destroying, you know, AOE opponents and whatnot. Whoop, dust them. Let's slam again. You get stunned. These guys should be pretty much done with here and dealt with. Boom. And we won. Very nice. Very clean. The green book is always easy. Like, you can do this alone. Two upgrades for free. That's literally what we were targeting for. And we already got our first legendary, the waves. And we got an epic and a rare. So, uh, off into the chest. Actually, I would say off onto the vision. By the way, I want you to always keep in mind, I am playing alone right now, okay? Whatever you're seeing, whatever, you know, the, this uh, this quality of gameplay I'm, you're seeing, if I was with four more people, I could still do what I'm doing, right? The opponents would be more powerful, yes. It's not like it would take me the same time. It would take me more time, yes, obviously, uh, because I wouldn't have anybody helping me, but I, I could easily be running around the map and just, you know, playing around with enemies and just, uh, you know, clearing out everything and then telling to my allies, hey, yo, guys, come over here, I just did the time event. Or, or you know, you could all split around if you play with friends. Uh, everybody can just split around trying to find their own event and then uh, just use teleporters all around to help each other out, right? Hey, guys, there is a chest over here. I opened it up on my own. I mean, vision effects, obviously, everybody's going to do it on their own. Look at this. Just This vision just gave me the max health event that's over there. So that means most of the events on the map are done. That's why I tell you the vision. You should take the vision as late as possible so you can see where it's going to hit and then realize what you're supposed to do. I'm going to say crit chance for each chilled enemy. I didn't get the thing I actually wanted, which was uh, that when th there is a one that says when an opponent is already chilled and I right click them, they uh, shatter as if I hit the E button on them. And that is obviously extremely powerful because, um, by the way, do you see the stairs bat down? That's an event. As you see, the events always are the same. It's either an elevation up or an elevation down. There is always some kind of change in elevation. Get the money, uh, get all the money and leave. I don't need to fight these guys. Although I could. I just survived death here. You know what? Let's fight them. Although, although I shouldn't. Although I shouldn't. But, you know habit force of habit because at the end of the game you're still playing a game right let's not forget you are playing a game and you're supposed to be having fun it's not all about a hundred percent min max i'm just showing you how to beat the game always consistently and it's night night is always better for this character at least in my opinion you can maintain uh, the opponents being a frozen a lot easier that's also reason why you don't want to uh fight trash mobs whoa and uh, th that reason is that you just lose life for no reason okay you're dead and off we go I didn't even get that much XP out of this. Uh, if anything, I could have gotten this event done. You know what? Maybe I should do this event. 
This event, by the way, is the Piggies event, the event where you're supposed to build up, you know, either the wooden house or the house of straw or the house of bricks. That's the event supposed to be. I'm going to leave this up for last because in my mind, if, if I'm not going to be able to get this event at the very last moment, then uh, if I got that actually earlier, I wouldn't be able to get something else. And I definitely prefer getting a chest and two max lives and a red book than getting specifically that one event done. That event gives you very, very good rewards. Don't get me wrong, but it's very much a multiplayer event. Not because it's not possible. It's very easily possible. It just it takes a lot of time. Special is my shatter. So I'm going to take this. Shatter does 20% more damage. And uh, off into the max life we shall go. So as I tried to explain previously, this event here takes about 5 to 6 minutes. It's doable solo, it is doable, but it's gonna take you the full 5 to 6 minutes. While if you do that event with allies, everybody can run around the map trying to pick up the resources, and then the resource gathering part might take only 3 minutes, right? And uh, the moment you pick up all the resources, that event instantly starts. So um, you definitely want a lot of people in that, because otherwise you just waste your whole run. Uh, while over here I have, for example, right now I have um, four more minutes, six more minutes. Yep, the game, by the way, is about to end at the, um, just to be clear, the game is going to end at the 21 minute mark. Normally it is 24 minutes, but because I'm playing at difficulty 9, it's going to be 21 minutes. And uh, yeah, we continue clearing everything out. Let's go here, pick up this. Okay, we got the max life, don't need to care about that enemy. Off we go. As I previously stated, uh, my ultimate does not, I repeat, does not matter. It does not matter if you have your ultimate or not. It doesn't help you in any way, shape, or form other than doing some more damage. Uh, specific characters have a good ultimate, okay? Like Beowulf, in my opinion. Beowulf has a very good ultimate uh, because it's like the dragon goes around just does a million damage while you also attack. But her, for example, because she has a channeling ultimate, it's a very mediocre. You lose out on DPS if your other build is better than what your ultimate build is. So uh, there is that, I guess. Anyway, time to go for the... You know what? Let's actually... No, no, we're going to go book first. And then from the book, we're going to go max life. So I am also fully healed. Let's do the book. Should be easy enough, but say if you didn't level that up, we're gonna level it up anyway. Don't be afraid about it, we have a plan. Now, this fight here is not easy. Like, this fight is not easy, not even for, uh, not in a million years, this is an easy fight. Uh, let's, up oh, slam. We're gonna most likely die, whoop, go up, and I'm dead. It's okay though, we have the life, that's why we have the revives in the first place. The whole idea here is that um, you revive. <laughs> you use them, when you play alone, that's how you use those revives. You will die when you play alone, you will die no matter what. I mean, if you're a god, you might not die, don't get me wrong, like, it's not, oh, Sift said that you're gonna die if you're alone, no, 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 you definitely can play better than me, obviously, uh, but, you know, it doesn't matter, because that's why you have the revives, I'm not even gonna use this, we're gonna abuse mechanics, so we're gonna first go back to the shop, because you can have this lined up before you even pick it up, right, we're gonna now go to the shop, now we buy the low levels, this is gonna give us free, four free upgrades, so we're gonna say one, two, three, four, uh, therefore, we should level one of these. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Right? We have missing. We are missing four upgrades. It's gonna give us four upgrades. Easy enough. And just because it's not visible on the map does not mean that the, the this is not ready because I have already pre-tested this. And I'm telling you, this is waiting for you. We're gonna go here. We're gonna get my four free upgrades. Boom. And now everything is legendary. That means this here is 106 damage. This here is six waves. This is 35 less range. And this is seven percent crit chance for each chilled enemy. And now, and now we literally just need to kill opponents. That's it. Like, there isn't really anything left to do. I guess I could go ahead and do a two-more fight. That would be maybe possible. Uh, let's actually just get some kills going. Let's get rid of the healers. Oh, we found a key. Okay, when you find a key, you obviously take the key and go to the elite event. <laughs> forget the forget the two-more. The two-more, by the way, the two-more is literally there just for something to be done. Like, in my mind, the two-more is not a thing. I'm not gonna use the two-more. Let's rain on this guy. And they're dead. Very nice. Dust! Let's not forget the dust makes you damage immune. Let's do loops around these guys. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Is this my last life or do I have another one? I have my one last life. Once again, it's okay. Part of the run, we're gonna lose the money here. No, we didn't. Let's get the coins. Nope, we're still in the fight. Uh, it's okay, once again. The <laughs> As we previously mentioned, the lives are here to be wasted. You should never be uh, sad about losing the lives. Unless you don't think you can beat the final boss without the revive. Which, uh, at that point, yeah, you definitely will need the lives. But I think we got the final boss without the revive. You know, famous last words as always, but I think we got this. And uh, off into Elite we shall go. We, we got time for the Elite. Let's go to the Elite. Hopefully, we will uh, be able to get in there without getting disrupted. Oh, this is a, this is a fight Elite, so this is gonna uh, get summoned at our place. Let's go to the shop and buy literally everything that is left on the right side. And now what I'm gonna do is fight this Elite and then go to the well and try to spend all my money in the well. 
So we're gonna buy armor, we're gonna buy uh, crit chance, we're gonna buy vitality and crit damage. And now we have 53 coins, which is literally not uh, not enough. So we have two minutes to beat this elite. Theoretically, I should be able to. Practically, I don't know. We're gonna also definitely get a level inside the elite fight itself. So let's hope for the best here. Uh, excuse me, did I not pick up the key? Oh, I'm in a fight? Spiders, man. Spiders. I hate the spiders. This is a bug that they always do. Okay, let's uh, attack. Let's go through. This is gonna dash through us. Yep, obviously. Boom. That's gonna rain. Yep, you do your thing. I do my thing. Get stunned. Get stunned, I said. Get stunned, I said. Boom. Boom. Attack. Nope, stop. Stop attacking. Now the plan is to somehow scatter before it goes... Nope. Yeah, I should have allowed it to do the channel effect. I could have killed it. I could have killed it. There is a min-max way, but I didn't do it. Let's go in loops. It's night, therefore everything's gonna be more easily getting hit. Dust them. Smack this down. Smack this down. Continue maybe skedaddling. Skedaddle. Exp Explode! And now boss time. Come on, boss. Come on, boss. I got one minute to destroy you. Whoop, we got hit there. It's okay. Do your AoE. Thank you. Go through. Slam. Also slam again. Let's do this one again. No! I should have dashed through, by the way. And now we should be winning, right? Slam. Easy enough. We got the heal. We got the level. We got the chest. What's the chest? Vitality 50, but you lose all your crit chance. Double the amount of collected money or any positive armor is removed and become damaged. All of these are useless. Uh, let's go with I don't have crit chance anymore. Nah, let's go with this. It's bad, but whatever. We got a very bad upgrade out of that. Uh, I have 53 coins. I can't really use them for anything. I got my ultimate. We're waiting for the boss now to pull us in. That's it. Um, and we're ready. We're really, really ready for it. Look at this. I'm alone and I did every single map, every single event on the map. I didn't do the two tumors. The, I didn't get the chest for that, I didn't get a key for this, and I also didn't do the one that takes 50,000 hours. Maybe I missed something, right? Maybe I did miss something, but it might be like one max life, it might be a couple of coins, but otherwise we cleared out the whole event alone. And this is how you're supposed to play this, this is a lot easier when you play with more people. The enemies have more life when you play with more people, but the events are still the same, like everything else is the same. And if anything, you can stun lock opponents easier when you're alone, when you're with friends, so whoop, let's avoid that. Explode. Slammer. Boss is doing a laser on us. Uh, okay. Hit. Hit. Dead. Nice. Sit here. Let's go through. Do this. Do this. Do this. Boss is dead. I mean, not boss, but tentacle. Let's take the heal and let's go to the next one. Whoop. Let's go through. Maybe the next one after the next one. Boom. Dust them. Got that dead too. Very nice. I need to get rid of this one. Hit. Hit. Right click. Hit, explode, dead. Off into the one after that one. Nice, nice. And uh, let's shatter. And that should be enough. Yes, it is enough. Now we're gonna go like slam and ultimate. And now E. Now this and dust and this and slam again. And let's start attacking the tentacles. Okay, we avoid that. Let's leave that tentacle B. Shatter. Hit. Slam. We got hit. Yeah, okay. But oh, this guy's dead. Very nice. Didn't heal. Dash through. Slam. Shatter. Hit. Dead. That's it. Go through. Hit. Hit. Dust them. Hit. Always shatter when you get the chance. Boom. And this thing's dead. Let's continue next one. Go through. Hit. Ground slam. Dust so they get stunned. And dead. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zig, zag. Let's go through. Hit, hit, dead. Slam. Let's do the dust. Slam. Uh, I mean, shatter. Hit, 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 hit. If I get another skill in time, it's good. I think we do more damage than I would have been doing otherwise. Yeah, we do so much more damage than when the other version when I did it with my ultimate. Yeah, I think forget the ultimate. <laughs> forget the ultimate. It's not a thing. That was a mistake. I didn't play correctly. You know, time to get super duper anxious and play wrong. Let's go through. Explosion. And then slam on the ground. And maybe heal. Slam here, very nice. No heal, okay, that's not good. Okay, we need to get, avoid everything. Shatter. Heal, maybe. Let's always loop around. Hit him for money. No, yes, I did get health. Let's go through. Shatter, explode it, hit one, hit twice, dead. Just dodge, 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 dodge. 
Once again, we skedaddle, we hit, we slam, we die. No, I'm kidding. And boss is almost uh, open at this point. Let's do this. Let's do this. Can I cancel my ultimate? I cannot. Why well, can? Okay, we're gonna win. Slam, 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 dust, slam. Okay, we're not gonna win. Cancel everything I said. Run. Run, 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 run. Easy enough, easy enough. Let's go through. We hit this, we hit this. We explode it. It gets stunned. This is the best pattern the boss can do, by the way. Whenever the boss does the... This is the worst one it can do. <laughs> um, whoa, we're dying. Exploded. You're not gonna move, by the way. Let's wait for a moment to see the next pattern. Gets the laser. Easily avoidable. Hit. Slam. Explode. You're dead. Nope, it's not dead. It did die, though. Go through for the health. Okay, that's good. Hit it. Let's go through. Slam. This instantly. It's the rain. The rain is very dangerous. The rain is dangerous. It's, the rain is dangerous because close to the end, it always tries to, like, kill you. <gasps> Everything tries to kill you all the time, by the way. Okay, boss time. And we won. And we won. Dust it. Ulti. Easy enough. Okay, now at the boss at the end, okay, at the very end, the boss, that is clutch. Like, you need to know what you're doing. Uh, I'm not the best, as you saw, I did get hit by a lot of times. But the thing is, when you have all these passives helping you out, when you have went ahead and cleared the whole map, you can easily win at the end. As long as you know the boss patterns, right? You need to know the boss patterns. I can't do anything about it. You saw them, the boss only does three things. And as you see, this is the highest difficulty. I just realized we just won at the highest difficulty. So this is how you beat this game. You want to beat this game? Always, always, always just go ahead. Run around the map and don't care about anything other than events. So that is pretty much it. You want to win? Follow this plan. Uh, I have played with most of the characters. If you want to see me do runs on this game, more of them, uh, you know, we have a whole playlist in the channel. Uh, hopefully, God's going to appear at the top right. And yeah, I think from here on out, I'm going to maybe be doing more runs with, you know, every single character because I love this game. Maybe some co-op is going to happen at some point. Maybe live stream is going to happen at some point. Maybe something, something is going to happen at something, something point. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this is helpful. If it was, drop a like. Hope to the channel too. You know, you can subscribe to see more if you want to and as i said this is how you beat this game every single time consistently uh every time i have done this i definitely get to the boss and most of the time it's 50 50 at the final end it's 50 50 at the end but the thing is before the end i'm always like powerful that's that's the difference it's one thing to go to the end and be half powered half not and then be one step behind and it's another thing to go to the boss with the whole power the whole strength you can amass right so it's as i said it's like uh, did i say it i don't know it's it's stacking the the deck towards your odds, uh, for your odds, or something like that. I don't even know the expression. But you just try to build up the best, and the best way you can possibly build up is running around the map all the time. Uh, in co-op, that definitely is gonna be easier to do, especially when you have people, you know, m just running around, marking things. Like, imagine somebody plays... I don't know, what's the fastest character? I, I guess Snow Queen is the fastest character. Like, imagine somebody plays Snow Queen, and just runs around the map the whole time, finding money nodes and breaking them, and just marking everything else. Like, when you find a chest, you leave it be. When you find a book, you leave it be. When you find an event, you leave it be. If it's money, you break it and you take it. Like, otherwise, that's it. Uh, imagine playing like that all the time, and then your other allies, you know, the other group of two or three people, if you play with four, you can play up to four, the other three can go ahead and clear out, you know, the chests, or they can go out and clear the books. If, if you min-max very much with a friend, uh, with a group of friends, you can destroy this game, and then at the very end, you're just sitting and waiting, uh, because you have cleared like everything or you even clear out the two more because you don't have anything else to do uh, anyway maybe i'm gonna find like friends or something and i'm gonna play and you're gonna see how this actually looks like although right now i'm playing mostly on my own so i need to even explain my friends how you're supposed to play this now obviously this might be a bit mechanical and make might make the game boring but the thing is this game right now has only one chapter if the game gets three chapters and um, then obviously you need to play correctly to get through the game i would assume anyway that's going to be it for today hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys enjoyed the guide on how to beat the nightmare difficulty 9 and pretty much the whole game all the time this is very consistent you might die by the way if you play with melee characters because you might not be able to pull this off but that's mostly a skill issue right like this is the guide now is your skill <laughs> your skill is the next uh oh, i guess um yeah the, the next thing you need to hone anyway that's going to be for today hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around <laughs>